So for you, just how does it feel being on the other side of the table? Being on the other side of the table, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I highly recommend uh, it. Well, actually, no. Like, it's it's a lot. It's, it's so much pressure, uh, so much responsibility, because you're literally curating another drag artist and making sure that they are the best that they can be. Did you find it hard to, to give some of the critiques, or, or how did that come to you, I guess? As a pageant girl, I didn't really find it hard to give critiques. I, for me, as like being in so many pageants and being judged or judging so many pageants, I do the thing where I give like two compliments and then a critique. But I always like to give a critique in a way of like, next time I think you would be really good if you did this. I like to do it in a way that makes them feel that they're not defeated, and that can do the most when you're just getting kind of berated and taking everything as like something negative. To hear a compliment with a good with like a, not a good, but like, <laughs> uh, an effective critique is perfect. You gotta spit before you swallow. Yes. And you know, for all the girls that are coming on to the show, they're new, they're new. They're starting to deal with fans online and everything. Just what's advice that you would give them when it comes to that aspect of it specifically? <laughs> my advice for fans, or my advice for any of my new sisters that are coming on Drag Race, and dealing with fans and social media and all the comments. You know what Rue told us. Rue said, don't read the comments and pay your taxes. And honestly, those two have kept me sane and rich.